This is a comment I got from a woman under my pull away test video. So as you guys know, I, I've talked about the various reasons why women pull away. I had a guy comment and say, well, they pull away also because they have another guy in the background. Yes, that sometimes happens. But surprisingly, guys, women can pull away from you without having somebody else in the background simply because you're not doing the right things. So that said, a woman wrote a comment and she said, pulling back may be because the man has an avoidant attachment and he lacks communication. As a woman, I like to communicate my feelings, but even but he even won't initiate a conversation about future plans. Not a game, but space and time to think if it's worth continuing with a relationship or not. Now, there's a lot of things that she's saying here, and some of it I agree with and some of it I don't agree with. But overall, it, it's important to get the thoughts and ideas of, or at least the thoughts of what women are thinking about these things. Because whether or not we agree with them or not, it is a it is them trying to figure out why they do stuff also. And I give anybody that's trying to figure out the ins and outs of why they react the way they do, kudos, whether I agree with it or not, you know? So let's go over a thing though, right? So the first thing she said was, they may be pulling back because the man has an avoidant attachment and he lacks communication. Well, understand guys, as I've said before, I have had a, uh, extensive conversations this week about the whole idea of communication, right? And so people think that communicating is, when I say a thing, you understand what I mean, you mean what I, whatever, right? But the reality is that just because somebody communicates something doesn't mean that the interpretation of it is the way that you want it to. So she's saying like, oh, if a man has an avoided attachment thing, he lacks communication. She's thinking that if he's not expressing himself, his feelings or expressing future plans, that therefore he doesn't care about her. Now, we as guys know that early on in the dating process, if you go about expressing feelings to a woman or saying, I can see a future with us, more often than not, women are going to feel like it's too much too soon, that the guy's already held her heels and she's not there yet, and he, he and she's going to bail. And why do men feel that way? Because if you ask the guys that have contacted me on this show, so many of them say, I was just trying to tell her that I liked her and that I was having a great time on a date. Next thing I know, she's ghosting me. And that happens so many times to where I cannot recommend you as a guy doing what this girl is saying, which is I want guys to communicate feelings back and I want them to initiate future plans, right? But that speaks to the other half where she says she might pull away because she needs time and space to think if it's worth continuing the relationship. Now notice, she didn't say that do that not a guy not doing these things completely turns her off. What she says is it causes a little bit of doubt. Like you go on three or four dates and maybe you're listening to me and saying, you're not talking about future stuff. You're not talking about feelings. By that fifth date, she might start thinking, huh, he's not mentioning like feelings or anything like that. Or he's not saying he wants a future with me. Like, does this guy really like me or not? Like, I'm having a little bit of doubt about that. You know what? I need time away. I need, I need a little bit of time because I'm feeling kind of apprehensive now. I'm not sure what's going on. And, and you know what I found when that happens? If a woman starts feeling that like, if she starts kind of pulling away because because of what she's saying, where she's thinking he's not communicating future speak or he's not really talking about his feelings, this and that, I have found that women that are highly interested in you, if they pull away for these reasons, they'll eventually conclude that ultimately she likes you enough to see where this is going to go. And then she'll convince herself that, true to form, well, you know, it's only been like a month. It's only been a month in, so maybe I'm the one that's rushing things too much. Maybe I'm the one that's like, you know, tripping over why, 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 why do I need him to tell him his, tell why do I need him to tell him his feelings about me after one month? Like he could be seeing other people. Like I'm tripping. So I found that women are very good at coming to the conclusion early on in the dating process that if you're not doing this stuff, they're the ones that are tripping, unless you come in and start doing the things that she's saying she wants. Because women will say a lot of times things that they think they want from a partner, and then they get it, and then they get turned off. The famous example is like the husband, uh, the boyfriend that she met when he was playing guitar in a band, and then they get super serious, and then they get married, and then she's like, hey, so, you know, I wish you wouldn't play that guitar so much. And then it's like, oh, you know those guys you used to play guitar with? You know, you hang out with them a little bit too much. I wish you would spend more time with me. So then the guy, acquiesces because he's trying to make her happy and then like a year later find out she's cheating with somebody else well it's because you changed because you're not the guy that i once met and you're like but you told me not to be that guy so even though women sometimes guys this is going to happen women are going to come to you sometimes and say that you know things that i'm teaching things that doc loves teaching things that other people are teaching you to do as a guy in the dating process is not a thing and i would never fall for that and you should do x y and z instead and if you did these things i would and then i would think that you're playing games i'd pull away and yet 
I, I've just found that when you listen, the women pull away. When you start trying to become the guy that they say they want and you take their advice at, at, you know, at scripture, then usually you really kind of find out they didn't actually know what they were talking about. And that's because, and this is what I try to stress to you guys, is that women do not have to overly study on how to get men because they have men more often than not on average. This isn't all women because all women, you know, there's a, there's a one to 10 scale, but on average, women typically have guys hooting and holler at them, throwing themselves at them, trying to get in their DMs, trying to talk to them all the time at school and at work and all this other stuff. So where they don't have to study about how to get a guy to pay them attention. They have to study more on how to keep a guy, but in terms of actually getting one to pay attention, they don't have to do that, all right? And so they're thinking the things like, you know, women will say, well, you just be yourself. Women can just be themselves. They can be loud, obnoxious, rude, crude, and dudes will, they can be girls that have, they're all tattooed up and they've gotten a bunch of surgeries and they'll still find dudes out there that will want that, all right? So because they're not in the practice of having to, er to learn extra on how to get guys' attention, they think that it should be the same way for guys. You should just be able to be yourself. You should be able to tell your feelings. You should be able to do whatever because girls can do that to us. And we're just like, if it means I'm going to get the lay, that's fine. But guys, you cannot do that because even if they're saying they think they want that, they're basing that on how things work for them. How things work for them in the attraction process is drastically different from how it's going to work for you. And so you trying to be a guy that's telling feelings and trying to talk about future speak on an average is going to get you turned away. There are women out there that you can say that stuff and they won't be bogged down or turned off by it. But that's not the majority of women. I can only teach you guys based on what the general woman is going to be fine with. And I found that you don't lose points with most women if you're not talking future speak or feelings. Now, I've also found that women that need that early on are the kind that are desperate and needy and also had like some traumatic stuff happen in their childhood where they didn't get enough strokes as a kid from mommy and daddy. And so they're always seeking approval. Those are the kind of women you don't want to date either because they're going to take up all your time. They're going to be overly jealous. They're going to be wondering why it is you didn't say, I love to, I love you today to me when you said it two times yesterday because they need to always hear it in order to do whatever. And that, guys, on both sides of the equation, men and women, gets exhausting for the other partner to have to do all the time. So I would argue if this is a woman that needs to have feelings communicated after three or four dates or wants to hear future speak after you know date number five, she might be a person that went through some trauma. And so... I, I, again, I don't know her personally like that. I'm just gauging on there are women, women of my past that I met that were kind of like this, that end up being the ones that had trauma and were always like in tumultuous relationships and they ended up not being worth dating. So you gotta be mindful of that. But that's, but I just wanted to read her comment because I want you to get an idea of like some of the things that women are trying to figure out for themselves. So thank you women for listening. Again, I don't necessarily agree with the, the various concepts, but I, I, I do understand the pulling away part. Guys, there's gonna be, there, there's women's attraction is interesting in that Men are very much like this. If I'm attracted, boom, I'm on the attraction train unless she does just something downright and dirty or shows disloyalty. Women are going to go through this emotional roller coaster where like you can go on a date with her for like the first three dates. It's up and up and up and up. And then date four, maybe she's, you know, not as enthusiastic as she was before. And dudes turn on the panic button like, oh, it's date four. And now she's suddenly there, there's a downtick. Oh, my God, she must not like me anymore. Guys, it is a roller coaster for them because they're going from they didn't know you three dates ago. And now they're having to go through their head of like, is this going to be the guy? I'm dating another guy. Could he be the guy instead? Or he's, this is date number four and he's doing this like weird thing I didn't see him do before. Or he has this weird habit where he, like he breathes out of his nose weird. Can I handle that? Like they're trying to figure out all these things to where not every time she sees you, is, is she going to be on the high up and in, right? But so if during those times she pulls away a little bit, you don't need to panic, but you also don't need to rush in and try to assure her that you like it. No, no, let her pull away, give her time to think. And then assuming that her, her interest is still pretty high, she will come back to you. And all I, all I did during dating is just ask women on dates. Like I stuck to ask women out once a week. So if I had date number four, it went just kind of, okay, whatever. Okay. I'll wait four or five days and see if she reaches out. And if not on that day, four or five, I will reach out. Hey, let's go to another date. All I can do is reach out and see if she says yes or no. More often than not, I found they were saying yes, so things kept going. But during that time, I wasn't talking to her. That gave her the space she needed. This is why I'm a big component, a big proponent of you building in time for her where she gets her alone time. If you're just taking out a woman once a week and you're only texting her, like you're only initiating texts once or twice a week to ask her out, then she can't get bored of you as easily. But more importantly, you're, you're giving her that alone time to where she's less likely to pull away from you. But when you don't build in, time for her to be away from you, it starts to feel less like her decision, which is going to make her want to pull away a bit
to be able to get back to dating this guy is my decision. So do her a favor and just build that in for her. And you'll find more often than not, she'll be coming to you instead of running away. Because if she's chasing you, she can't be replacing you. But if you're not giving her room or building in time for her to want to come to you and chase you, then you're going to lose her. So hopefully that discussion helped you guys out. You're a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are go. high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. <laughs>